it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today for a post review, a showing of my um, second and final JPG along piece. This is Language of Flowers 5 by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So um, before I film this, I just have to tell you in just a little bit, I will be going live with Crafting with Shay, which you will probably have seen yesterday. So if you haven't seen that yet, you should go watch it on the hashtag replay. I hope it went well. I've never done it live before, so I'm kind of a little nervous about it. But hopefully by the time you're watching this, it's happened and it went okay. <laughs> so let's look at this canvas. And I am just thrilled with how this turned out. This is so beautiful <laughs> not to like just saying oh my gosh like my artwork is beautiful because this is not my artwork so that's why i feel totally comfortable just like eyeing over over this artwork because first of all this was a beautiful painting by jasmine beckett griffith and then second i think this was rendered so well by craftably um it is just so gorgeous and vibrant like every person that has seen this and there's been quite a few people they've just been like those colors these these flowers just pop the orange um i've had people ask me if like i'm using neon drills and no they're not neon but they just are the brightest oranges and pinks and it's it's just gorgeous now i did add some things to this so i will go over to those in detail they were just to take the canvas a little bit step farther and kind of a image that i had in my head that i wanted to see so i will show you but i just have to say um that overall my 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 you know my review of this craftably canvas is that it is just <sighs> great <laughs> but i will go into further detail about some of the things that maybe were a little bit more difficult or stressed me out so um basically i will take you on a tour of this canvas and then we'll talk in detail a little bit more about this canvas what i changed um, what are some fun things that I think added to this? Um, and then I will also tell you about some of the things that I encountered on the canvas. Um, let me give you a tour of the canvas now and I will do it in light and in dark so you can kind of get a better view of the shimmer. This one, like like I just was saying, it was just really a joy to work on. The colors are so vibrant. Um, this has 45 colors, which I thought was a good mix for this canvas. I didn't think it was too many, nor did I think that it was not enough. I feel like it gave a good definition to the flowers and also to the leaves. Um, I think her skin rendered really well. The shadow that's between her eyes that's... Um, a lot of Jasmine Beckett Griffith's paintings um, have that, and I think that that got rendered really well. Um, so one of the, the things that Craftably actually had in this, this canvas, because it was one of their 4.0 kits and their pre-orders, they had three ABs and a crystal, and I just think that is super awesome. <laughs> that is really neat. So what they had was this green 
you can see this green AB right here. They did have this yellow crystal in here. They had um, a white, which I actually did not put in the canvas, which I'll explain later what I did. And then they also had a light, light yellow, which is this yellow. So three ABs that were, um, well, I guess I can just show you is you can see where the white ABs would have been on these leaves because I actually put these, these fairy dust kind of sparklers. I thought they looked a little bit more like water wood on a leaf than just a white AB, but um, that, that was just my, my opinion. So the, I think overall that is a great amount of ABs. I mean, they're in her eyes, they are in the flowers, they're in the leaves, and um, there were some in her eyes too, the whites and stuff like that. So I think that overall, like that, that is probably one of the best configurations that I've seen craftably. Um, and I think Dreamer Designs are the two most generous companies that I see with ABs that I've experienced. <laughs> so what I did though to take this a step further was this was originally a blue and I put Moonstone from DP with Sparklers in, which is a crystal that if you can see turns blue and green depending on the angle and the shimmer. And I thought that was really neat for these leaves because at some points you see the green, at other points you see the blue, and the camera really picks up the crystals which you don't quite see them as stark, um, but it does make a really pretty blue shimmer in the leaves that I think almost makes it look a little bit more like a leaf would actually look rather than having blue. Um, I made the joke to somebody that, or not the joke, I said, I don't like this certain way rendered on this painting because I don't feel like it's very realistic. Then realized that was probably the dumbest thing I could have said because I was, it was a different painting, but it was again, a more of a, a, a not a real person. So <laughs> nothing's realistic, right? Um, I don't know if I can say that if my, my review is going anywhere here. But the second thing that I did add was I added this red crystal in the flowers that I thought made them kind of stand out, the definition. Now these would have been the darker shade. I'll show you. They would have been this darker red. And so these, these are actually 150 crystal. And I do think that it worked out really well. I think it added um, some extra shine. Now, I originally had decided I was going to switch out all of this, um, I believe it's 7, 741 with ABs, which is this lighter color. Now, I found out though that that kind of took away definition in the flower and um, it actually looked better if I sprinkled them. I did Mrs. Coffee's method of just throwing some ABs in the tray and sprinkling it around. And so they kind of fell wherever they fell. And I actually think that worked out really well on the flowers because you get the depth of that added color, but you also get kind of an extra sparkle. And then having the a few of those sparkles next to the same color just made it sparkle without being like, whoa, sparkle. Now, the thing that is, whoa, sparkle, that is so hard for the camera to pick up is this gate. And this is the Sunshine Sparklers from DP with Sparklers. <laughs> and let me tell you guys, this thing just sparkles and shines from a mile away. This is why your eyes are brilliant, because your eyes pick it up, but the camera does not pick it up as well. Um, it just, at different angles, it, I'm trying to see if I can get it to... It really just, you can kind of see it there. <laughs> it just really shimmers. This was actually a collection of several different colors and shading. And I don't know why, but I originally thought that this 
image had a gold gate. And so in my mind, I just assumed it was a gold gate. And when I realized it was like silver with kind of brown accents, I was like, no, no, it's gonna be a gold gate. I'm just gonna make it. I tried to do some of the shading with these, these kind of, I don't know if you call them crystals because I mean, they're sparklers. They're more like metallic, metallic looking sparklers. Um, and it just didn't look very good. So I went to just putting all sunshine sparklers and really that just turned out gorgeous. Um, like I said, I mean, it does, you, you still, you see the gate. It doesn't look, you don't have the definition you would, but this picture isn't a realistic kind of picture anyway, you know? So <laughs> anyway, I just think it added to the fun of the painting. Now I wanted a little bit more sparkle in the leaves. So I ended up adding that lighter yellow, um, AB. I'm pretty sure that the U AB, it says AB 23, but I'm pretty sure that it was the 3819 color on here, just in AB form. And so I just, um, made those ABs as well, which just kind of added a little bit more extra sparkle to the leaves. Like I did say that I did add these sparkles here to look more like raindrops on the leaves. And, um, oh, I did actually use the white in the flowers. So there is some of the white AB. And then I put a few in her eyes, um, just in little spots where the whites would have been. So overall, that is basically, I didn't really change um, any of the charting, I just, except for like, like I said, you know, maybe combining these colors and adding some ABs and crystals. But overall, I'm just really impressed. I think that her, her skin looks great blended and you just get a really neat image. Now I do have to say that I think the drills were great. The only problem I had was with the black 310s and it wasn't that they were bad drills. It's just that there was a lot of like little, like little tiny balls and, and, and spheres that were not drills were mixed in. And so I sometimes had to pick through the black, which can be hard when you know you're, you're doing color blocking in some areas like this. And it feels like it's a lot of work to be pulling out those those little pieces but honestly i just don't know what you can do with 310 because they constantly are a bit of an issue with with squares and <laughs> they can be better with rounds but you still get so much trash with them i think it's just because they're so common they get mass produced probably more than any of the other drills so anyway, I just have to say that I do absolutely recommend this piece. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And this made me so excited to try out more of Craftably's new releases. If you weren't aware, they had a massive pre-order. They got in a ton of new designs. They were like, we're going to take the business challenge you know, of the <laughs> century, we're gonna do it. <laughs> and they did it, they got these pre-orders out and they look so awesome. And um, I, I didn't have any problems with the fraying canvas. I did have a little bit, this canvas is a little bit thin and I did have problems with it kind of like being bumpy a little bit, like not sitting flat. But once I got all of the drills on, it sits perfectly flat. So it, it wasn't a worry, you know, after I think, I think it's just one of those times when, um, when you don't have some drills, it can make the canvas kind of sit weird. But once you get all the drills on, then it lays flat and that's all, you know, that's all you, you want is when it's finished for it to lay flat. So if you guys have any questions, let me know and any suggestions for how I can better do reviews because I always feel a little lost on these. I, I sometimes wonder if I can give a very good review, if I change so many things on the canvas, um, but I still want to show you guys because I really like seeing completed canvases and what you can do with them. 
and also kind of get a review on how things were. So I kind of try to like talk to you guys about how I would probably be talking to a friend, which is maybe not the most informative way. So let me know if there's anything I can do better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one.